So uh, I would like to uh, speak something about uh, what are the responsibilities of the members of the church. You know, uh, there is there is a biblical pattern for uh, for the the responsibilities of a member. So I would like to speak about the responsibility of each member of the church this morning. And I I believe that I mean uh, God will use every one of us in the coming days for the glory of the Lord. Amen. So as we are the members of the eternal life church of God and we believe that we are the members of the universal church also. Right? You know, our name is there and our name is written in the book of life in heaven. Right? Amen. So if your name is written in the book of life in heaven, I personally believe that when God is placing you and me in a particular place and when God is giving some responsibilities to some of the people not all, not only those people but all the members of the church are focusing for the soul winning and focusing for the for the for the expansion of the kingdom of god because we are the members of the kingdom of god we are the members of the kingdom of god not only we are the members of the eternal life church of god our name is written there so that's the reason i would like to speak something about the responsibilities of a member of of the of the christian church you know each one of us have many different different responsibilities and talents which is bestowed on each person it is sure that during the time of uh, you know uh, AGM or annual uh, general body meeting, maybe few brothers or may, maybe few sisters will be uh, appointed or selected uh, to accomplish the respective uh, uh, responsibilities. At the same time, then does it mean that the others don't have a responsibility? You know, many times the people are thinking. Okay, so this, peop this person is the president and that person is the secretary or that person is the elder or treasurer or deacon. So I don't have any responsibility to do. So uh, they are just, I mean, you know, they are just avoiding all those things and uh, they are saying, no, no, I don't have any responsibility to do. But, you know, let me, let me tell you one thing that, you know, we need every person in our church. We need every person, those who are attending in our church and those who are becoming the members of the church. We need everyone. And you can be used by the God and for God's glory. And also, you know, some way or other way, I mean, you can be involved in various ministries of the church. Okay, that's, that's what I'm going to talk about, uh, I mean, this morning. So there are, we have many kinds of ministries in the church. Now, some people are thinking, okay, that person is uh, uh, especially appointed for that I mean, particular ministry or this particular ministry. So, uh, let him take care of that and I don't want to do anything. It's not, the, it's not the pattern of the Bible. Bible says that every person has a ministry. Every person has to do something for the glory of God, for the kingdom of God. That's the reason the Lord has called us and made us the children of God. Amen. So as we think about, you know, there are different meetings in our church. You know, every day there are many meetings and many ministries in our church. And that could be the indoor programs or outdoor programs and the ministries you can see in the in the in the in the in the i mean what is that membership book and you know there is a there is a, uh, a member membership book or something handbook or something in that ministry book you know in page number nine there are many things which is written which we are doing as a ministry you know as a church as a christian church the people of god are obligated to do the ministry you know, not only the pastor, not only the elder, but everyone has your responsibility. Everyone has your talent. And that's, that's, the, that's the God given talent. And you are going to use that. Okay. So, you know, when you read that, uh, I mean, portion, you will understand there are different ministries that we are doing, I mean, uh, in our church. Especially, you know, there are Sunday school. What is for Sunday school? Sunday school is focusing to teach the God's words to the people and making them disciples of Jesus Christ. You know, what is happening during the time of Sunday school? You know, during the time of Sunday school, all the small children, the Sunday school children are coming together and there is a teacher for them and the teacher is teaching them the word of God. Nothing else. The word of God. They are teaching the word of God. And we have the adult class. You know, what we are doing in the adult class? 
You know, all the adults are coming together and they are praying first for the blessing of the church and for the blessing of the service. And also after that we are discussing many things from the word of God. We are talking from the word of God and that will edify the people. You know, that's a beneficiary thing. So we have many children from age group and also we have a youth ministry. You know, I'm thinking, I was th just thinking about when I was, I was reading this, you know, how can we, a person, uh, become, uh, 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 what is it, active member of something in the church? Okay, so there is a, a Sunday school, you can be an active member of that. You know, there are many Sunday school teachers out there. Even a student, the student, the Sunday school child is sitting in the class, he can or she can do something. Do something for the glory of God. Okay. So that also is the ministry. And youth ministry. Why we are conducting the youth ministry? It is to teach them how to face the challenges of the present day. You know, there are many challenges for the youth, young adults. So we are equipping them how to, how to, I mean, how to face the challenges in their life. There are different kinds of challenges in their lives. So we have to equip them to face the challenges in their lives. And also the worship ministry. You know, you can be a part of the worship ministry even if you are not the, you, even if you are not included in the Worship team. You know, some people are thinking, okay, I'm not the member of the worship team, so I won't be singing or I won't be not, uh, uh, what is that, okay, I, I cannot sing a song and I cannot, uh, I mean, do anything because I'm not the member of that. Okay, member of the worship team. It doesn't mean that you cannot do anything. You can sing and you can participate in everything. You can sing and worship God even if you are not the member of the worship team. Amen? So, uh, again we have the women's ministry. So, women's ministry is to equip the woman to enrich each other's lives through Christ to help women and discovering their spiritual gifts to use in ministry. You know why we are conducting the women's ministry? Or, I mean, women's meeting. You know, the reason is, you know, we are equipping our women, our sisters, to, to, to share about Jesus Christ to the other people, to other families, to other women. And also, we have intercessory prayer. You know, intercessory prayer, usually we are conducting uh, 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 maybe, okay, uh, once, in a, once in a month, maybe Saturday. Okay, so we are conducting that intercessory prayer. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, we, we, are, we may be thinking that, okay, uh, I am not the part of the, uh, I don't have any responsibility, so, so I, I, I am not a part of that intercessory prayer. It's not like that. You know, the people, those who are not at all having a position or responsibility or office, then also that person can participate in that intercessory prayer. For example, you know, uh, let me tell you about Andamandi and uh, I mean, uh, Maria Mandi. You know, all our aunties and uncles, you know, they don't have any part or they don't have any responsibility or they don't have any uh, 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 office, what is that, position or something. But they are praying, interceding for the for the church, no? You know, every day, more than us, the, those people are praying, praying, praying. You no, know, Every day they are praying for the church, for the equipment of the church, of the growth of the church. Why they are doing? Okay? They don't have any position, but they are doing that because they understand that this is my ministry. Prayer is a ministry. Worship is a ministry. Anybody can do that. I mean, you can involve in everything for the glory of God. And also we have missions. We have missions. And that mission is to promote and support the mission work all around the world. You know, we could, I mean, we could uh, uh, do many things uh, for the, the other people for the mission, as, as a mission work or something in the, in the previous days. And we are planning to do more things in the coming days. Then, so that God will help us to do that. God will enable us to do that. And also, we have the local outreach and Bible study meetings. You know, all these things are happening in our church only because we are the members of the church and we have some involvement. And we can do something for the Lord. We are not doing for any one of the uh, person of our church or we are not doing for the pastor, but we are doing everything for God, for the glory of God. For example, you know, we have been, uh, I mean, reaching the lost souls and the perishing souls in the previous days. Especially, think about the Christmas Carol and the outreach. We could, I mean, connect with many people, many families. We could reach out all those people, sharing gospel, giving the Bible, giving the tract and all those things. 
you know that's the reason that i could say that there are many brothers and sisters working hard working hard behind the screen okay we do not know who all are these people you know there are many people working hard behind the screen for the glory of god but they are not coming into the public you know they are not a public figure nobody knows that about that those people what they are doing we are not appreciating them but at the same time no one thing that whatever you do god has god will be giving a reward for you in heaven hallelujah so that's what we are learning from the book of revelation in the previous previous classes you know whatever we do for the glory of god not for our glory whatever we do for the glory of god our god almighty will give you the reward the reward will be there in heaven for every person hallelujah so that's the reason i said every one of us has that 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 duty that responsibility that ministry it to do i mean and also you know uh, when we do that it doesn't mean that okay you are not a pastor or you are not a president or you are not a secretary or you are not an elder you are not a deacon that some people are thinking that okay i am not a president i am not a pastor then why should i do this okay bible very clearly says that i mean to do something to do something for the glory of god there is no need of becoming a getting a position anybody can do that you have the talent and you have the talent of prayer you have the talent of sharing gospel you have the talent of singing do that for the glory of god that's what god is expecting from the people of god that's the reason i'm talking about the responsibility of a member of the church as we are the member of this church we are the member of the universal church that means our name is written in the book of life in heaven i mean so we are i mean getting more portions from the bible and the main thing is the attitude is more important than the authority and the position okay so after this uh, when we are conducting uh, uh, the general body meeting so we will be delegating the, uh, the some of the positions or some of the i mean uh, responsibilities to some of the people okay only only some of the brothers or sisters will be getting that position or that um, uh, what is that uh, that office okay so the responsibilities so when we do that when we do that think about it is not important that what position you are but your attitude is the main thing you know this is the thing that uh, most of the time i would i used to think about you know whatever i am doing or whatever i am so as a pastor i am thinking what is my attitude and i am doing that is it that i am doing that for my glory or is it that i am doing for the people of god or for the glory of god I mean, this is the main thing you know when we study the bible especially about jesus christ so think about the attitude of jesus christ what is the attitude of jesus christ you know the first of all you know uh, uh, jesus christ was having the attitude of i mean volunteering you know voluntarily jesus did many things huh? jesus came down from heaven to this earth in order to save the sinners it was a voluntarily decision that jesus took a decision no i am ready to go there to save the people you know this is the mind of jesus christ we used to say that have the mind of jesus christ what is the mind of jesus christ okay i'm not only talking to the 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 people those who are going to take a responsibility but i'm talking to every person every one of us every one of us has a responsibility and when we are doing that when we are doing that our attitude is important how we are doing that and for what we are doing that and what is the purpose behind that we are doing the responsibility i mean the first mind of jesus christ was volunteering that means jesus christ without any compulsion came down without any force jesus christ came down to this earth and he was giving his life for the sinners so that mind should be there in everyone's i mean life i mean as we are doing something for the name of the lord and again and again the attitude of serving the serving mentality you know each person those who are having the responsibility or those who are doing something in the church should have the mentality of serving okay serving mentality what did jesus did when jesus was uh, doing his public ministry 
you know he showed the example for the people of god and doing that you know taking the towel and he was coming to wash the feet of disciples and after washing the feet of the disciples jesus wiped out the water from the feet who can do that who can do that you know think about the the mind of jesus christ think about the attitude of jesus christ he was just i mean he was just washing the feet of disciples this is the servanthood and this is the mentality of jesus christ then we also should have that mentality we should have the mind of jesus christ doing everything just like a servant when i personally believe that even though i am a pastor of this church i am a servant i am a servant of god when i am ready to do anything as long as i am a pastor i can do everything and i think that again i should serve the people i'm serving you Okay no it's not that like oh, I am the pastor I am the president I am the boss it's not like that I'm serving you because I mean I know when when I'm praying I know what is the need of the people and going and visiting those people and sharing with them and praying for them this is the ministry you know what God has bestowed upon me that I'm doing I'm interested to do that with a serving mind that Jesus Christ was having that serving I mean I mean mind and also the next thing that he was proving through his life that he is a servant he came to this world jesus came to this world as a servant to serve other people all of the you know maybe three and a half years uh, whenever jesus was walking through the roads and whenever he was visiting the houses and whenever he was uh, talking to the people whenever he was making the message or preaching the sermons in the mount sermons and everything you know, wherever he was going and whatever he was speaking everything was coming out of the mind of a servanthood and his whole life was dedicated for the lord and for the people that we can also take that mind of jesus christ and do everything as a servant we are a servant of god we are the servants of god and we are serving the people we are serving the almighty god hallelujah and also the next attitude of jesus christ was humbleness you no know? take the life of jesus christ the humble servant of god humbling himself and coming down from heaven taking the form of a man becoming a man and saying that i am humbling myself and i am ready to do everything i'm ready to do everything for others and for the glory of the father god they should be there in our lives also the attitude of humbleness the attitude of humbleness i was not i mean i mean preparing uh, more points or more, i mean more time message or, or the long time message or something but just i was i mean uh, 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 just preparing uh, to this morning that i was just thinking okay as we have the general body meeting so let us think about this because you know we will have that uh, insight in us that uh, okay we have to be like this so we have many ministries and we have many i mean uh, programs in the coming days and whatever we are assigned or whatever i mean response abilities are given to the people of god i mean you are supposed to have the attitude of jesus christ the mind of jesus christ so let us all submit ourselves to the mighty hand of god this morning i mean before the i mean general body meeting let us let us i mean think about when what was the attitude of jesus christ what was the attitude of jesus christ hallelujah and are and think about are we ready to do that to have that mind of jesus christ in our lives hallelujah the, the first attitude was volunteering hallelujah it's not i mean somebody is forcing you to do something you know whenever you see that uh, okay this should be this to be done do that without asking anybody or without uh, i mean getting the permission for that or without uh, i mean thinking about okay i am a person who is having this dignity i am a person who is having uh, i mean this responsibility i don't have that responsibility so i cannot do that don't do that don't think in the light way but bible says that i mean whatever you see you can do that i mean right after there because that will bring glory into the name of the lord and that will help the other people that will encourage other people I mean whatever the chances are getting whatever the opportunities are that you are receiving in this world to do something for the name of the lord to do something for the ministry of the lord really we understand i understand that god will bless you god will reward you whatever you are doing in this world i mean in heaven when he is distributing the rewards for the believers of god let us have that mind of <coughs> volunteering let us have that mind of serving 
the attitude of humbleness the attitude of humbleness the attitude of serving the attitude of i mean, I mean making i mean himself nothing and serving the people so this morning let us also take a decision oh lord i am ready oh god we are ready oh god i am ready oh god in your presence oh god as we are gathering together let us pray together for a moment hallelujah let us pray like this hallelujah lord we are coming to your presence oh god we need to do something for the name of the lord in the coming days oh lord hallelujah whatever the position whatever the the office bears i mean whatever the 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 responsibilities are given to me oh lord i mean even i mean i'm not given any responsibility but i'm ready to do anything oh lord i'm ready to submit myself oh lord i'm ready to i mean prepare myself for i mean doing something serving god and serving the people for the name of the lord not for my glory oh god only for your glory oh god only for your kingdom oh god hallelujah because we are the members of the kingdom of god we are the members of and and, and and we have our name is written in the life of i mean in the book of the life of i mean book i mean in 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 heaven so this morning let us submit ourselves with the mighty hand of god 